Hey everybody, this is Joby, and this is a video about the Skeleton Polymorph base game quest, totally free, and I think it's great. If we look, uh, this is me as a skeleton, and also the funny thing is I'm a wood elf. So as you can see, my bow is like almost bigger than my body, and uh, this is a, a polymorph that is going to be the same size, which is pretty funny. And all you need to do to get this polymorph is do this quest. But first I'll show you what it is. If we go to collections and we go to appearance right here. And then we go all the way down to polymorphs. Uh, it is the skeleton. And it's acquired by completing the quest. The bargains end. Now polymorphs hide costume hats and skins. They're different from, uh, you know, skins and stuff. Skins will be underneath on your body and you can wear costumes over them. But polymorphs, it is what it is. You can't can't be anything else they're great i like them all just to have everything for variety but uh, i think this is an excellent item to have and it's so easy to get so we're in shadowfen right now if we just go here shadowfen is right below Deshawn. it's a base game area you don't have to worry if you've never been here before just go to stormhold way shrine and right all the way down to here it's right next right above uh, cradle of shadows and then where we're going to go is to this village called Still Rise Village. Now, get on my horse or my cinch or my whatever and uh, head this way towards Still Rise Village. Now, there's going to be a lot of markers. Don't worry about that one or any of these other ones. Where you want to go is to this. See that marker? Chieftain Sulak. Okay. Now, I'm not going to do this. I'm not going to do this quest. There's a... Uh, it's an amazing story, just like the weirdo quest yesterday I showed you. This one is really bizarre with a surprise ending, and uh, I'm not going to tell anybody anything about it. I'm not even going to do it. I'm not even going to activate it. Uh, well, I'll activate it. I'll go ahead and talk to uh, Chief Sulak. Necromancers? What necromancers? Okay, and so there's worm cultists, and I'll take care of them. All right, so you have to stop the threat to Still Rise Village. Now this is just Still Rise Village. It's called The Thin Ones. Confront Gorog, confront Felron, confront Draguar. And you search the storage area beneath the huts. Now see, we never had that before. These hints, they just tell you and you can end up going straight there. You don't have to worry about talking to all those people. Once you uh, start doing this quest, you know, this is a, a lore book here, which is always great. Get any books that you can find. They uh, do different things, give you different, uh, you know, in the Zeal of Zenithar, that'll be real important, how many books you've read and stuff like that. So I think it's fantastic. But anyway, all you're going to do is go talk to these people. Uh, if I take off my, my marker, we've got to uh, confront him and then confront this guy over here. You're going to have to go. It's kind of involved. You go around and you talk to all the different chieftains and just follow the quest and do what it says, but don't leave until you finally get the polymorph there's a part see i can't really tell you or you'll know so i'm not going to say anything about it but i'm just saying make sure that you're finished with that quest and it goes bing and then it says skeleton polymorph acquired okay uh lots of people wear this in pvp you see people running around um just like anything you know you'll get it at first you'll wear it all the time and then you'll just get sick of it you probably won't wear it again for a long time just like me at least but I have a lot so I wear different ones at different times and um, these are these are very fun for me and I think for you guys or anybody that's uh, maybe you're just playing on game pass maybe you don't have any DLCs or high to high aisle or anything like that and uh, if you don't this is great because it's base game and it's uh, you can get it on game pass and you can get this for free it's literally besides what the price is you paid for the base game this is a free polymorph all right well, that's really about it, and uh, I just wanted to show you guys this and make sure that you understand, don't leave, even though you'll be a skeleton, until you get the, bar, the, uh, the quest finished. And the name of that quest is, let's look one more time, because I did this before, and I left, and I had to come back and do it again. So this is called, Acquired by Completing the Quest, The Bargains End. Like I said... It's quite involved and there's a lot of uh, talking to different people and figuring stuff out and making decisions because the base game it's incredible how much detail they put into it nowadays it's just go talk to this person they say have you seen my shoes and you go get the shoes and bring them back and then that's the end of the quest 
But uh, the Quest and the base game have lots and lots of stuff, lots of involvement. But I think it's totally worth it. If you want costumes, you don't want to pay any money for them, you don't want to spend your gold, uh, this is the way to go. All right, so please give me a like and a subscribe if you enjoyed the content. Leave a comment in the comment section. Tell me, do you like to do base game quests to acquire costumes and polymorphs or gear? Is that something that uh, you enjoy? Are you going to go get this skeleton polymorph or do you already even have it? I know a lot of people have it, but there are lots of people in the game that are new. And uh, I had done a video about this before, but it only got like 300 views. And some for some God only knows reason, uh, YouTube changed my content. And it does this quite often to kids only or it's for kids. I just want to say. My content is not for kids. I never swear. And kids could watch it. But this game is not appropriate for children. Uh, maybe if they're with their parents. And their parents explain that this is just like a fantasy. But for them to be watching this kind of stuff. You know by themselves when they're young. <laughs> it's not It's not good. Don't do it. But uh, you know they changed it over. And so it had very low views. So I just made a, uh, a video again. To hopefully get a wider audience. And uh, forgive me for doing that. Join me on Discord, the most chill Discord server on the planet. There's a link in the description, and if you're not doing anything, 8.15 p.m. Eastern Time, follow me on Twitch. Upper Echelon Mediocrity is the name of the channel. If you're on Xbox, North American server, you can join my guild, which is coincidentally the same name as the YouTube channel. Go figure. Upper Echelon Mediocrity is the name of the guild. And right now we have 485 total members, no members pending, and uh, 44 people online. It's a little bit later, so some people are on playing, having a good time. Friendly, helpful people, uh, real generous people, help you uh, get everything you need and want, give stuff away and chat all the time. It's great. We're not in the Guild Finder, so you need to send me a message on Xbox. My name is Coyote, C-H-A-O-T-E-Y, and I'll get you in as soon as time permits and whatnot. All right, so until that time, let's get paid.